all of our um, friends and fans and audiences and sponsors. I just want to say thank you so much for supporting us. Um, we love what we do. As you know, we're a profit share company and this time our cast took their profit share and gave it straight to the charities. Um, which we're very grateful to have done and we're really grateful for the opportunity to be able to support V-Day. Um, but I just wanted to also give a big shout out to our cast, who I'm so proud of, and it was a privilege and honour to direct all of you. And it was fun, <laughs> and hopefully they'll let us do it again. Thank you so much. Hi, I'm Shannon Perry, and I am with the team doing the Vagina Monologues at the Alexander Bar, as well as a few other theatres. So, um, what I love about my pieces is it's, it's two women. I probably, before doing the monologue, would have seen them and decided they weren't really the type of girls I'd be friends with. But after having researched and really dug in deep into the monologues, I find I can really relate to them and I started to really like them. And I got to see an aspect of myself that maybe hadn't been uncovered just yet. This is something that is a must-see. If you are a woman and you have a vagina, you should see this show. If you are a man and you love women, or you're interested in them, or you'd like to get to know them better, or you're fascinated, or you're scared, you need to see. If you're an alien, you need to see this. It's that important. And it's very exciting doing it because we get to tell things that are taboo. We get to speak about it. We get to unwrap it for you and, and make you come along with us and hopefully really, really surprise yourself with discoveries you'll make along the way. When I first watched it, I went home and I felt empowered and so happy to be a woman and then as the days progressed and it started marinating I started feeling a bit vulnerable and worried about my vagina and being a woman in a country where there was a lot of violence towards us and then as it deepened I started feeling a responsibility for it and I needed to be a spokesperson so <laughs> that's me in a nutshell another another thing I just need to mention is that I'm very proud to be one of the Sugar Daddy uh, Theatre Company actors. Marlisa is divine. She's a gem. She's so easy to work with. She is an actor's director. She likes to connect with us, find ways to make a piece really resonate within the actor. And she's just, she's been like a sister to me. So I think as an actor, you are lucky if you get a director who takes the time, who puts herself in over 100%. She gives everything and who really, really believes in this piece. She is so knitted into this piece. You'd swear she and Eve had sat down and spoken about it side by side. Eve Ensler obviously being the writer of the Vagina Monologues. Thank you so much. So my experience with V-Day has led me to um, explore ideas and things that I would have been too shy to beforehand. Um, I think I'm much more curious now and I listen more to what people are saying on social media. Sometimes I get involved. I've always been quite shy uh, about getting involved in discussions on social media, but now I think I have a, a weapon to use that isn't violent, but it's based on knowledge and yeah, listening. I think that's the most important thing. Uh, preconceptions are dangerous. So Sugar Daddy, um, it's always lovely working with Sugar Daddy. I worked with Marlisa before for Sexual Perversity in Chicago and um, what's wonderful about this is that it really gives you the freedom to explore different projects um, and I just think it's a it's a very driven company and um, they explore important work so it's a privilege working with Sugar Daddy and um, I hope to do so in the future. Hi, my name is Sive Gubangla, and I'm in B-Day, Vagina Monologues. It is an absolutely amazing experience uh, being in an all-female cast and talking all about our vaginas and the strength and the beauty and the pain of it all. And yes, it's not our stories, but I feel that we all carry something and we all have something to share and something to give in these phenomenal women's stories that we have the privilege of sharing um, to everyone who comes and watches the show. 
and it has been an absolute, it has been a privilege and it's, and I mean, I've done it so many times now, but every single time we rehearse and we're together and we're performing something new and there's like a newfound strength just being together, which is lovely. And um, being with Sugar Daddy is absolutely phenomenal. Marlisa is amazing. And um, once again, I'm gonna go on a female rant, but it is lovely having Marlisa there and um, being supported and um, by a phenomenal female director and um, just having that person who actually understands you and is really fighting for something and fighting for something they really enjoy and love and for a good cause and is puts a space for people to work and to give back it's, and using something creative which is absolutely phenomenal. For me, I think the most exciting part of this journey thus far has been meeting and getting to work with these incredible women. Having such a huge complement of talented actors from Cape Town work together and take time out of their really, really busy schedules to do something like this for charity has been incredible. And um, again, every time you're an actor and you are with other actors that you haven't worked with before, they offer you incredible resource for growth, um, for challenge, for learning. Um, an actor's life, you never stop learning, you never stop honing your skill. So on a personal level, it's been an incredible journey making remarkable friends of these women and we're different ages and learning. And then on a more kind of, sort of on an open platform, I think what's been amazing is uh, getting in touch with these words and just the power of them. And I don't think until you've done Eve Ems' play and you've really um, embodied those words, do you quite realize just how revolutionary her practice of writing this was and just what it does for women when we speak them, hear them, and perform them. My experience with Sugar Daddy thus far has been one of growth and learning and journeying. Um, I started with Sugar Daddy many, many years ago when we did The Blue Room and Marlise and I were actually performing on stage together. <laughs> and I laugh when I think just how young and innocent and to an extent inexperienced I was um, and that I thought I knew so much more than I did and it's a humbling experience to come back many years later and have another opportunity to work with Marlisa and the team at Sugar Daddy and I think they do groundbreaking work in Cape Town I think that Sugar Daddy is always on the frontier helping new actors find a voice um, if they weren't production companies like Sugar Daddy, a lot of young actors would never get the opportunity to perform because existing big companies or directors would not be interested in really working with new talent. So yay to Sugar Daddy and yay to the opportunities that they provide. Thank you, Marlisa. So to be part of V-Day is really important being, obviously being a woman, but it's because it's so empowering. Um, working with these other fellow actors has also been such a blessing and an honor they all bring something so unique to this production and I think the message that we're sending out there is a very important one for not only women of South Africa but also to be part of this global movement which exists to, to give women a voice where sometimes they feel that they ha have none. And then to be part of the Sugar Daddy Theatre Group is obviously also amazing. This is my second production with them and um, it it's really is a family and I always feel welcomed and we always pulled together which is amazing um, and there's always something special and magic that comes out of each of the productions and it's something that I'm again very honored to be proud of and I just want to thank Marlisa for letting me be part of that um, and it's definitely something that I would love to take forward in my career. Thank you. Working on V-Day has been a really interesting experience and um, really wonderful to work with a incredibly strong group of women and actresses and talented individuals and as a collective and a voice being able to tell other women's stories and being able to infuse ourselves into that has been quite wonderful and it's been a really great opportunity to come back to V-Day I am I was in it last year but different roles and now coming back this year and trying to navigate where I am in this version and these stories and the new stories that I'm telling and being able to tell these stories hopefully 
with some meaning and dignity and grace and respect to the stories um, of the people that they belonged to and with some humour and some fun too. Um, working with Sugar Daddy has been really great too. Marlies is a wonderful director and she's very giving and caring and um, it was really difficult trying to get everyone to rehearsals at the same time. It's a large group of women and obviously we only do this once a week and she's really given up her time to also see us um, individually and things if if we weren't always there and um, Sugar Daddy have a, a really great way of helping young any artists um, with exposure and being able to give us opportunity to be able to perform um, at different theatres around Cape Town and uh, creating opportunities.